Hi everybody, Jonathan Reeves here with another Twin Motion video. Today we're going to look at what's new in Twin Motion 2020.2. We've got some amazing new features to look at, including improved water materials for realistic lakes, seas, and even kind of things like puddle effects and rain. Absolutely awesome. These are really nice and really will enhance your visuals. We've also got a really nice pack of new trees, uh, particularly focused on East Asia, that will really kind of like improve the quality and the variation of your trees and your visuals. All of these are seasonal and respond to the wind and the rain and all those things as usual. I really love the new customizable aircraft. And I do think that these will be great once the uh, travel industry gets back on its feet and starts moving forward again. They'll be really useful in creating models and visuals around that industry. All of the aircraft are customizable. My favorite new feature as an architect is the amazing interactivity they've now put into Twin Motion. So things like doors, when you kind of move up to them, they will automatically open um, and so you can move through into the next space. Absolutely fantastic feature. I absolutely love the animator objects and I'm, I'm really excited to see what the community does with this. This means you can kind of make things rotate, move, open or pivot. Um, so you can kind of really bring your animations and uh, presenters to life to really kind of engage the client. I absolutely love the new construction vehicles. Some of these are animated and some of these are just for stills, but they're high quality and they're really great. And if you combine these with the new phasing tool, this allows you to really show the construction of a project from beginning to end. I'm really excited to show my clients some of these sequences, but I think on big projects, things like contractors and construction managers will find this incredibly appealing for their project um, and also help secure funding for those projects as well. What a fantastic feature. Now the best news of all guys is if you've already got Twin Motion 2020, then you'll get this as a free update. If you haven't got Twin Motion 2020 already, snap it up now while it's 55% off from real-time-rendering.com. Thanks for watching. So now let's take a look at some of the new features in a little bit more detail. Now this isn't intended to be a full coverage, I'm gonna make some more detailed videos of all of these later, um, but just a quick rundown for now. So you can see that we've gone into Twin Motion, and I've just really wanted to show you there was a nice new kind of cover image as we develop that from uh, Power, one of the fantastic beta testers and artists of Twin Motion. And the first thing I want to do is scroll down to look at the new trees. So you're going to find most of these down at the bottom. Uh, these are the new East Asian tree pack, and you can see if we drag those in, they're really high quality. And there's quite a variety of sizes and different sort of types of tree as well. So this really opens up uh, Twin Motion for that market. And actually, you know, no reason why you can't use those in sort of European and other, other markets as well. Um, I think they're great. They're really, really nice quality. And if we kind of zoom into them a bit more, you'll see that all of the um, other benefits of Twin Motion will apply in that you kind of interact with them and you can kind of adjust things like the age. So let's kind of select all those trees. And we can see that if I want to, I can kind of adjust the age of those trees in one go. And the great thing about the aging of the trees in Twin Motion is they're not just the same tree scaled up, they're actually different trees, different tree models load in as you adjust the age. We can also adjust things like the season. Um, so, you know, in some of the trees, when appropriate, the leaves will change color or maybe drop off. Um, you can see particularly this one is a nice one. Here we go, different sort of seasonal changes. Absolutely love those colors there, and as well as the age. So what a fantastic feature. Um, really, really love the new Asian tree pack. So the next new feature I just want to mention is the new water. These are really, really uh, fantastic, and already I thought, to be honest, the water was pretty good. Um, but to do this, what I'm gonna do is actually drag in a landscape and do a little bit of sculpting on this landscape here. So basically, let me just kind of have a quick sculpt around and hopefully turn on my starting ground, move that up a little bit. And then we can go to uh, materials. Uh, you're gonna find those under materials. Down at the bottom, uh, water. And they kind of look quite dark, the previews, but when I actually drag them into the model, what you're gonna notice is um, very nice high quality reflections. And actually you can easily adjust the coloration of the water itself. Um, you can see you've got some really nice controls over things like the water depth now. So let's kind of sculpt this down a little bit more, make it a little bit deeper, this uh, this ground. That's one of the features I love with Twin Motion, the instant nature of the, the trees and the landscape sculpting as well, just the way you can kind of paint and spray that landscape. So 
let's kind of uh, just paint up the edges of this uh, this little scene we're creating just for fun just to show you how fast this is really and you can drag and drop different textures onto the dock so I'm just going to try some of these waters in a bit more detail now we've actually got something uh, in the scene uh, whoops I just clicked F and fitted to the scene so that's a little tip if you do kind of get lost click back on something in the model and click F and just refit back into that scene so see I'm just adjusting the weather now um, because I wanted to see some of the effect of this new sort of rain effect and things like that. Um, so let's kind of get back into the waters. That's a nice one. This sort of quite dark. We can adjust the water depth and I really love the way you can now adjust things like the wave. Um, let's just sort of tweak the coloration of that water as well. And you can adjust all these aspects, the water depth, the turbidity, and also the things like the caustic size as well. That makes quite a big difference. Um, so that water is really nice, the really nice sort of screen space, screen space reflections on those models. Um, introducing a little bit of kind of wave into the water obviously makes it look a lot more natural. Um, basically, let's kind of just get our grass and we'll do a little bit of painting just to kind of enhance this scene a little bit more. Just really want to show you how fast this is to this sort of, you know, work with Twin Motion, just to create natural scenes. And what I love about the new painted vegetation tool, well, this isn't new, but the, the fact you can kind of post adjust. Um, so you can basically kind of adjust the density of the different levels of things like grass and things within it. So I'm just kind of dragging in a few rocks just to kind of make this scene a bit more interesting. And I have noticed that those trees are floating up in the air. That was because uh, previously I dropped in a different landscape. I'm just going to kind of slide that up. That's a lot better. So what do you think guys? That's looking pretty cool already. I know it's only a few minutes just to create that scene. I really just to show you, you can easily adjust the tone of that water, make it look a bit browner or greener. So the next section we're going to look at the new construction machinery and this is really really nice feature for architects and construction managers and project managers to just sort of show a bit more about the uh, project itself. So to demonstrate this I'm actually going to go to uh, a really nice feature that not many of you know about maybe in Twinmotion where you can actually kind of grab information on context from OpenStreetMap. Now this is really cool, you can actually search for nearly every location in the world. Um, obviously there's going to be much more for sort of cityscape than there will be elsewhere. Okay cool, so our context is loaded in and if any of you recognise this, this is actually St Paul's Cathedral in central London. So I really just wanted a bit of a backdrop to be honest, just to kind of play with some of the new objects. And here you can see we've got these amazing new gorgeous construction uh, machinery objects and vehicles. So basically, um, when I was a kid, I, I think I loved playing with Tonka toys and that kind of thing. So, you know, you can kind of enjoy that process all over again. What's really cool is you can customize things like the colors and the logos um, again. So I think different sort of companies are going to enjoy this. And what you're going to notice is there's generally a still version um, and also an animated version of each one. So it's a really, really nice new feature. So things like the animated cranes particularly are absolutely gorgeous. And I think these will really kind of like enhance your construction projects and models. And we'll kind of, you know, when you combine those with this new phasing tool, which I'm probably not going to show today, that, that needs a, an in-depth video. Um, but you can see how easy it is to kind of bring the scene to life. Um, if you then drag in a few of the construction sort of people as well, these are all animated. And the really nice thing is you can actually change the pose and animation. Um, <laughs> you can see the moment, like most builders, they seem to be standing around not doing much, having a bit of a chat, one working and about four watching. It seems to be the way normally. Sorry builders, only joking. I know you work very, very hard. Um, basically, the other nice thing about the construction objects and materials is um, when you drag them in, they come in as a group. But if you click twice, you can actually get into the group and actually move the objects from within the group outwards. So even though the group might sort of seem like a little bit inflexible, it's very easy to modify it and move it out. Things like those skips and things, just part of that group. Okay, so let's tweak the weather a bit. I really wanted to kind of show off how nice these new sort of water effects is and the puddling effects, those kind of things. These are nice new features, just to get a bit of reflectivity on the scene as well. So yeah, what do you think? I think that looks really awesome. Really nice improvements in rendering quality as well. Um, one of the lovely things uh, we've always had with Twinmotion, not a new feature, is the presenter mode. Um, used to be called BIM Motion, but now in full screen presenter, you can get a really good feel. Okay, so the next new feature I wanted to focus on was the new aircraft. 
and you know obviously a tough time for the travel industry at the moment but at some point this is going to come back and I think there's going to be a lot of work in this sector um, for architects and designers. So this is a really welcome new feature and the ability to actually kind of customize the aircraft a little bit just to kind of maybe put them in the colors of the um, you know the carrier that you're actually working with and you can things like change the logo and the lights and things like the engine color a little private jet there which is rather nice so for example you know if I kind of zoom into this helicopter here you can see it's pretty easy to um, just change the color of the aircraft in loads of different ways um, so a lot of flexibility here I'm just gonna go for a nice cool sort of black Bond villain style helicopter there and uh, one of the features we'll be talking about later is the new animators obviously it would be possible to make those rotor blades spin around as well um, I noticed also there's some really nice trucks and uh, I think some of these seem to have been tweaked or on you as well. So the next new feature we're going to take a look at is the new animated doors. Now these are just absolutely brilliant. So you're going to find a basically rotated and sliding doors library and the really cool thing about these is they're very customizable. So let's just sort of drag a few of these into the model and you'll see how these work. So basically when you go near them, um, you can set a trigger point. So basically when you approach the door, you can set a trigger and also a behavior. For example, open, close or slide. And once the door's inserted, you can easily change the style of it. And there's quite a vi wide variety of styles. Some of them are okay, pretty cool. Um, there'd be nothing to stop you actually kind of making your own doors and applying some sort of new animators on them. But the great thing is you can adjust the size and the width and the height to fit different openings. So I think this is going to really bring a lot of sort of interest to people's animations and models and allow them just to create a lot more sort of you know, interactivity and interest. Um, here's some sliding doors. Again, you can see the behaviors there as they slide when you get within the radius. The blue, the blue circle is that radius and that can be adjusted as well. Um, I've actually seen that if you bring in a model with an opening, you can also fit these doors into that opening. Okay, the next new feature we're going to take a quick look at is the animators and these are I suppose in some ways similar to things like the doors but what I enable you to do is actually kind of animate any object. So basically all you do, you drop in a things like a rotator or a translator. Now this is a funny example I know but basically I've dragged in a tree and a rock into the uh, rotator object and it's as simple as that. Anything you drag into the rotator object for example will be uh, rotated. So here's a sort of preset door. There's also things like a roundabout and a few things like, um, just a few examples really of things like gates and things. These aren't really meant to be exhaustive. These are really more just examples of what you can achieve. Things like a sliding gate there. So that's pretty cool. Um, all the uh, aspects of them are adjustable. You can adjust the distance, the type of animation, the speed, and also the trigger. Uh, very important so you can actually sort of put the trigger so it will kind of pop up or down or move open as you approach i do like these little bollards these are really cool let's duplicate a few of those see how this works so you can imagine you're driving along the road when you get to uh, the bollards they just pop down you move up to the gate and the gate slides open it's that kind of thing this is really what animators are all about and i think they're a really welcome addition to twin motion 2020.2 so that really brings us towards the end of this first little video on Twinmotion 2020.2 but I will be making lots more in-depth uh, tutorials and things so please do subscribe, put your notifications on for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching, see you soon.